morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Friday. Woo! It's Friday. It's Friday. Woo! 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 At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. My goodness, today is Friday. It's November 19th, and it's day one, day one. And I just got to say, wow, we had such an amazing day yesterday at Hoover Elementary. I'm really looking forward to today. I hope we have another great day. I started off yesterday. Miss Randall's third graders invited me in to learn a little bit more about how to really understand like a math word problem and how to really make sure that I could use different strategies to solve the word problem. And I just learned so much in that class. Thank you, Ms. Randall, and thank you to all of your students. Um, there was this problem and it involved like caps and like how many caps is somebody gonna buy? And there were boxes of caps. I think there were like four boxes and there were 40 caps in each box. And the discussion was amazing. First of all, I thought this was a good tip. Ms. Randall actually read the same problem like three times. Uh, and each time there was like a different reason for reading the problem, okay? I, I took a, a lot of notes. I, I have notes and notes and notes here about all the things I learned. But sometimes it might be a good idea to really make sure you understand what the question's asking, what are some of the key words, and maybe you need to underline some things or box some things or circle some things. And then... There was this amazing discussion about how do you figure out how many caps this poor guy needed to order? Because if he's ordering four boxes and there's 40 caps, there's probably a lot of different ways to figure that out. And, you know, our third graders were amazing. They had so many strategies. They were drawing pictures. Um, some of them were using these uh, like things with like lines of 10. So some were counting by 10s. One person was counting by 40s. It was amazing. Good job, Miss Randall's class. Woo! And then what happened? Oh, yeah. Also, it was like the feast day. Did you happen to see some of the pictures at the beginning of the show here? That was a great Thanksgiving feast. Thank you to our cafeteria staff. Thank you to all of our cafeteria aides who did a great job making sure that uh, our students could enjoy the festivities yesterday. That was great. And I think there was a picture there in the opening uh, with our chess club. Ms. Ritter's fourth graders are doing a great job with the chess club. They were here on Tuesday morning, as was the uh, fourth grade orchestra. They were doing a great job, too, with Ms. Hurd. And um, I think there's a picture or two of some of our teachers. They earned some awards this week. I mean, this week is just rolling, rolling, rolling. We're doing all kinds of things. We had the whole cabinet here, and we had Dr. McGee, and, you know, our teachers are doing a fabulous job. They're getting all kinds of awards. So congratulations to all of our teachers who got those awards. And then we topped it off yesterday with all of the elementary principals and Ms. Burkholder and Mr. Fink all in my office for hours and hours and hours, we were talking about, you know, how can we try to help everybody to learn a little bit more? And, you know, we thought, why don't we walk around and learn from some of the experts? So we walked around and we visited some classrooms. Thank you so much, especially to Ms. Barber's class and Ms. Goodwin's class. They really were doing a phenomenal job. Those students, they knew what to do. They knew what to do, whether it was like time to work with a small group with a teacher or if they had to work independently, like with their Chromebooks, they knew what to do. They're in kindergarten and it's November and they know what to do. And um, they were having a good time. So keep up the great work to everybody. Uh, we saw Ms. Boyce too. Ms. Boyce was doing a great job. Thank you so much, Ms. Boyce and her students. And it was amazing in her class, we discovered that some of the lessons that our students are doing here at Hoover are the same exact lessons 
that they're doing in other elementary schools. Mind blown. Amazing. And it's like practically like the same day. Sometimes it's off by a day or two, but that's okay. But whether you're in Miss McKenna's room or Miss Barber's room or Miss Goodwin's room or Miss Boy's room, which is also Miss Ballard's room, or whether you're at Schweitzer or whether you're at Tawanka, a lot of us here at Nishamini, we're doing the same thing. So keep up the great, great work. I know the other day we had um, Margaret help us out on Hawk TV. We're going to try and get some more folks to help us out. I've heard from a number of teachers and even some bus drivers that we've got some students who are making great behavior choices and they really need a chance to be on Hawk TV to do a shout out or to help me uh, with our show. So I might be coming around maybe even to some first grade classrooms today. I've heard that there are some amazing kids here at Hoover Elementary and we just have to showcase them. So keep making good choices today. Let's be respectful, responsible and safe, especially on the bus, especially at recess, especially in the halls, maybe even in the restroom. And this weekend, have a fabulous weekend. And I hope you get a chance to rest and relax and have some fun and also read a couple good books and maybe even do some eye ready. All right. Be kind. Have a great day, everybody.